after I turned off the news, I was like, you know, what? what's going to pick my spirit up? What's going to make me happy right now? Um, what's going to make me happy? I started working on some stuff for Genesis, and then I couldn't, I couldn't even focus on that. Wrap your mind around this. If you know what that is, then you know what that is. What is that? What is that? What is it? Anyone who loves or remembers or holds dear to their hearts Soul Train remembers that as the original, original, original version of their theme song for Soul Train. And I don't know why it popped into my head, but I wanted, that's what I wanted. I just wanted, I wanted that feeling. And so I'm going to stop that for a second. Um... Working on Genesis, getting away from the bullshit that is news. Um, Soul Train popped into my mind because, like, growing up, Soul Train was, to me, as American as the bandstand herself. And and the artists and the dancers and, and the host, my God, Don, Don Cornelius. Um, I mean, the baddest brother all played a defining role in my childhood and in my life. And especially in the late 70s. And into the early um, and, and throughout the 80s, quite frankly, Soul Train showed me my first bit, my first glimpse of black entrepreneurship, what it means to be the owner or creator or, or doing something despite the feeling or maybe even the notion or even the precedence that it had never been done before, that what Don Cornelius did with Soul Train, sometimes I feel like that's how I feel about Genesis. Like, you know, it, I really feel deep in my gut that I'm doing something that has never, ever been done before. So then I, I just I stopped working on everything. I just stopped working on Genesis. I stopped working on everything. And I said, I, I need to just kind of sit with Soul Train for a minute. I need to just kind of soak it in. And so what I did was I listened to all the theme songs and I ranked my personal top five, four and a half theme songs from Soul Train. All right. So my number four choice, my number four choice, um, This is number four for me. I said top four. It's kind of top five, but top four. This is number four for me. It's the Soul Train Gang. The Soul Train Gang. Um, yeah, it's a distant fourth, quite frankly, because one, um, I really don't have that strong a tie to it, except that's one of my first memories of Soul Train. I vaguely, vaguely remember because this song came out in 1976, and I was four. And I have a vague memory of hearing in the background this song on a Saturday with my folks. My parents were watching Soul Train. So I just remember it from my days as being a toddler. And uh, it just made an impression. Um, however, my number three, most of you, a lot of you, if you grew up about the same time I grew up, you'll recognize this one for show, for show. <laughs> Stop playing. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this this was the cut from like uh, eighty seven to ninety three. This was the um was George Duke's version of the Soul Train theme as it was first created by the Sound of Philadelphia. Sound of Philadelphia created the 1973 version, which is based, well, I'll talk about it in a little bit, but um, this version was from 1987 to 1993, and it's basically the soundtrack of my high school through my undergrad days, and you know you had to watch Soul Train to catch the latest flyers dances to be hip at the dances, hip at the parties, um, and don't think I was going to miss it because I could not miss New Edition and Five Star. So stop playing. And and this was that theme 
People all over the world, stop playing. Boom. Now, my number three, no, yeah, my number two, sorry. My number two, my number two, despite being only one year old, I was only a year old when this song was the actual theme for Soul Train. I don't really have a real memory of ever hearing the song with the show, but this song is one of the most iconic songs slash sounds out of black American pop culture. I know it to be true. I know it to be true only because um, it's, I mean, it is a song that defines, so it's, it's the sound of the party that was on that little train. And you know you wanted to be on that little train. That little tra That little train, that train was getting it. And this song, this song is on my iPod. And if I play this song and get on the treadmill at the gym or go for a walk, man, I'm I'm going wherever I'm going. I'm going to get there and I'm going to be a little bit out of breath. Hey. Okay, enough of that. All right, my number one Soul Train theme psh, of all times. Psh. Let me just do it. That light skinned dude with that flat hat with the long brim and light skinned Asian looking chick with the long, long hair. Ho! You know what Saturday. You know what Saturday, and you were ready for the hippest trip in America, boy. So I had to go ahead and take a little break from the news, from the bullshit that is what's going on in the world today, and, and just take it back a bit. Enjoy myself on Soul Train. Um, anything after that theme, quite frankly, doesn't exist for me. Um, you know, they, they wrote that theme, that, that O'Brien theme until like, and, uh, you know, um, through 2000 or whatever, anything after that or 93 or whatever it was, anything after that, it just didn't even matter because the themes were corny. They were dumb. Um, so at any rate, um, that's it. That's all. That's all I have to say. Yeah, okay, whatever. That was like the theme from like the late 90s, whatever. Boo. Anyway, I'm done. That was like 15 minutes of a lot of stuff. Um, Soul Train, thank you. Back to Genesis. <laughs>